and today we are going to do some crafting. We are. We love crafting around here. We are making sloths because if you're sloths. Yes, yeah, sloths. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to say. I can't. Really it is say a right. hard one to say. Sloths. With the mask. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, hopefully you're following along on the bust and blurb packets, and you'll notice that we had a zoo themed packet this we time. We did, and we love the zoo. We do. Yeah, and. You know, they have the Asian Lantern Festival going on right now. Uh, it's a beautiful That's place. always fun to go to. It's a great little photo shop or photo place that you can go and take some pictures. Oh, yeah, nice. For well, sure. lots, of, lots of decorative things. and uh -huh. Yeah, so I've actually never been there at night because, as you know, most of our zoo trips, all of our zoo trips are during the day. <laughs> the majority, yeah. So I mean, where are the sloths at the zoo? Are they are they up with the monkeys in the... Well, whatever. They are. are. They are they up there? Yeah, up at the top of the hill. Top of the hill. Yeah. Look you gotta really work to get up there. I feel like this animal came out of nowhere. All of a sudden it gave it a little People popular. are in the sloths. Yeah, they're in yeah. there. Well, let's, let's make them. Okay, so you should have all your supplies. Um, I believe part of that packet had a pre-printed thing that you can go on your computer and print out. We just decided to print the sloth animal. And we printed it on the brown paper. paper. So if you can't do that, then once you print out your sloth, mm -hmm. then just color. Yeah. Well, I mean, it could be a purple sloth, really. Sure. I mean, sloth. Anything you want, gray, black. I'm sure we'd appreciate being, sure. you know, all kinds of colors. So you will need your construction paper, and then we also have, we had this twine laying around the office, so we're yep. going to use that. Yeah. And then we have these little dowel rods, but you can use, if you don't have a little wooden stick, you can go out in the yard and pick up a twine. Absolutely. Something like that. Anything that looks resembles a branch. And with all the rain we've had, I'm sure lots oh, of twigs and branches are down. So for sure. They're and out we in just need yard. little embellishments like for our markers. We love little embellishments. I love an yeah. embellishment. So yeah. we're going to get started. All right. What and are we going to do first? We should probably cut out what we have out pre-printed copy. Let's cut that on out. So, I have some sloth facts for you, of course, because that's what we facts. do here in Craft Corner. That's right. And um, so, did you know that sloths actually are the world pull-up champions? Because obviously you can see from the picture, they're holding on like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, from the moment they're born, this says, sloths are able to lift their entire body weight upwards with just one arm. Well, that's impressive. You know what? It would take me, I think, about five or six arms. <laughs> so one arm that's is little pretty little. impressive. Absolutely. That's impressive. Yeah. For sure. All right. I got mine cut out. Oh, my gosh. You're so fast. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, while she's finishing that, I'll tell you what we're going to do next. So we're going to take this picture. And if you'd like to, because I like to add a little detail, because the more detail, the more it's We love details, your that's right. So I'm going to just see on the clip ends of that, you see their little nails on their toes yep, and their fingers. Yep. Um, I'm just going to color that in with black real quick. And kind of give it a little detail. All right. So speaking of toes, uh -huh. there are two types of sloth, a two-toed and a three-toed. Oh, really? So as we color in their toes, I, I see that this must be a two-toed two It is a two-toed. Interesting. Um, two-toed so or three-toed? They they, oh, both types have three claws on their hind legs. I'm oh. still only seeing two. Yeah. But um, that's all right. We'll just pretend <laughs> like they're three. That'll work for me. That works. All right. So we're colored in. Yep. You're going to color in those? Claws, and then... And everybody likes the color. Yes, who doesn't want the color? We've Especially. just recently found out that Kara, shockingly, loves to color. I, I said I'm going to start a new hobby. Yeah, well, you know they come out with those, like, big coloring books. For adults. For adults, yeah. I know, I can get into it real quick, I bet. I mean, I could do a coloring book for kids. I don't think it really matters. Right? So it's coloring. It's very, like, soothing. What are we coloring in now? I'm going to give you this marker. And oh, the almost, mask. Yeah, it looks like a mask, I guess, almost similar to what a raccoon would have on Yeah, mask. yeah, yeah. But I just so colored that. in that with brown, because I thought that would look good. But uh -huh. you can use any color you want. Well, I think it, yeah, it's... It defines the sloth, for sure. The look of the sloth. The look of the sloth. I wonder, like, when you think of sloth, what's the first word? Sloth. Yeah, me too. Right. That's the first one, so obviously that must mean something. We I think sloth that. might 
actually mean slow, but <laughs> maybe that's just because I grew up thinking it would be like right. Uh, I don't right. know that I've ever said you're slow as a sloth. Like, that yeah. doesn't work. There's got to be a reason. There's got to be a reason. So are we cutting something else out now? Yeah. I'm going to make two little strips, one for me and one for you. Okay. And then we have our little dowel rod. And okay. we have a piece of construction paper about the size of the dowel rod. I'm going to leave a little hanging over so it'll look similar to that. Okay. And you're just going to fold that right over the rod. Because that's what's going to turn into our branch like Oh, structure. I see. And if you already have a branch, you don't need essentially to do you don't even need to do this, right? Can I take my glasses? Yeah. Um, yeah, true. So then you're just going to use your glue and glue that wrapping right around the little dowel rod. All right. So pretty simple. So and we're I know just you, using oh, like, oh, I'm sorry. We're just using good. like regular Elmer glue, craft glue. Yep. Nothing fancy glue, here. Nothing fancy. Don't need the glue gun this time. Yep. Yep. There'll be no burns. Um, so I know you've seen a sloth, but okay. maybe some of our viewers out there haven't seen a sloth. That's fine. They are quite a bit bigger than this. They're actually kind of the size of a medium sized dog. Yep. So I don't know what that means. Maybe. Size. 30 pounds? Is that a medium sized dog? Yeah. I'd say so. Yeah. I'd say so. But it could be big. I, my dog, I would say, is medium, and she's about 35 pounds. Okay. That could be. Could be. But ancient sloths, okay. known as, ready for this? Megatherium sloths. Yeah, that like, sounds, that sounds ancient. Sounds ancient. Like dinosaurs. Yeah. Grow as large as an Asian elephant. So that is really a big. Big sloth. Yeah. Yeah. They um, unfortunately became extinct around just before your birthday, about 10,000 years ago. <laughs> I like it. Uh, that's probably accurate. <laughs> you are not wrong. All right. I kind of jumped ahead as she's talking. Uh huh. I but did. that's okay. So we have little pieces of green foam. We okay. just happen to have leftover foam. Or you could probably use construction paper. Absolutely. Right? And you're just making the shape of a leaf. Uh -huh. The easiest way to do is. Obviously, point at the top, come on down, and point back up to the top. You can do it small, you can do it big, you can do it medium, doesn't matter. Just the leaf, because leaves come in all sizes too. That's right. About how many leaves do you I do? did three, but I think you can get four. Yeah. You right. can dress it up, you can put it all over the thing if you wanted to. Yeah, as small. many leaves as you want. Sure. Sure. Absolutely. Sure. 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 She's so easy going, okay. isn't she? <laughs> Whatever you want to do. All right. Next step. We are going to take our dowel rod with our construction paper and we're going to use our twine and I'm just going to, I'll show you how to do it real quick. Um, I preview a knot in it because then I know it's going to stay and I just slide it right yeah, on. Yeah, it just goes right on there then. Yes, well it should and it does. So they just need to kind of almost like they're tying like your shoe. you're tying your shoe, I'll do another yeah. knot. Yeah, just tie your shoe and pull it through and then you have little loops and you can hang yep. it. You could also, if you had some nice glue and you didn't know how to tie, you could either have someone help you or you could glue the string onto the Absolutely. Rod, right? Yep. You certainly But well, you need some pretty strong glue, I think, for that. Right. And the next step, and you can start it while I'm finished tying this, okay. is we are going to try to make our branch look a little more realistic other than just the brown paper. Okay. So we will take that brow marker. Uh huh. And you can see here. How we oh, added just little colored it in a little bit. Yeah, just yeah, kind of make some right. texture of the wood grain, maybe. Yep. Yep. Kind of jazz. Oh wow, little. that is some attention to detail right, right? there, folks. <laughs> you gotta have a little attention to detail. There are a lot of YouTube crafting videos out there, <laughs> but you can't view with the attention to detail that the rec department <laughs> brings can to you. Can put to it, right? Yeah. I agree. All right, so she's gonna do that. Here we go. I'm, I'm, feel uh, it. I'm detailed. And then you can start putting your your leaves on, but first you want to kind of get the center that you want your sloth to hang from. Uh huh. And we found earlier doing our little sample that it's kind of even cuter if when you take your sloth, you kind of bend him over that down rod a little bit so he actually looks like he's hanging. All right, so I'm going to put him there even though he's not glued yet, and I'm going to glue the leaves around him. Yep. Yeah. All you right. Got it. Got it. So, as we can see, the sloth is hanging upside down. Did you know that sloths spend 90% of their life hanging upside down? No. That's, that's a long that's time. A, that's that a, a long, long time. time. So, it's because 
Well, it's, it says here that it's made possible because their organs are attached to their rib cage, so they uh, don't weigh down on the lungs. Not, yeah, yeah like they can they're, breathe. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, there you go. A little sloth information. That, that's right. And sloths, as I think most people know, but maybe not, typically oh, only eat leaves, shoots, okay. like bamboo shoots, shoots, I would imagine, buds. So they are herbivores. You say herbivores or herbivores? I say herbivores. Yeah. I think Only I because say I don't say herbs, I, I, I don't say, herbs. Say, yeah, I agree. I think I say herbs. No, I say herbs for like spices, but when I say the word, I would say herbivore. Right? Yep. And not herbivore. Correct. Yeah, I might At no that. point should you include the H. <laughs> okay. Go but if know. you did, that's all right. You I just silently <laughs> judged you. Yeah. Probably not. I'd probably say something. <laughs> you can do it. All right, I just have to add my leaves. I gotta catch up here a little bit. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's see here. What else do I have about a sloth? I don't know. Wow. All right. This is pretty cool. So your neck, you know, the your back and your neck, mm -hmm. the bones are called the vertebrae. Uh huh. Right. So sloths have extra vertebrae, so that in their neck, so that they can turn their neck almost all the way around to 270 uh, degrees. That's impressive. That is really impressive. I, I can't, I can't. <laughs> no. They would like, literally, they, they would it. come around and like almost to here. Yeah, right? Like all the way around, not even to like just that 180. That's how they like watch for food and watch for yeah. predators. And yeah, I wonder like what a sloth's predator would be. It doesn't say that. Maybe snakes, tigers? I'd go with a tiger. Tigers. Leopard. Yeah. Any of those big cats. The big ones. Yeah, I think sloths would be too big for it. Well, I don't know. Bow constrictor. Anyways. <laughs> carry on. We're getting lost in the, in the zoo world, folks. Anyhow, this is ours that we're coming out with. This was the sample. So you can see how everyone's a little different. And that's okay. You want it to be different. But I thought it was kind of cute. And now that everyone thinks that sloths are cute, we're going to go with it. And hopefully you'll have time to work on it at home and hopefully you have all the supplies that you need right there. If you want to give us a call at 440-350-5165, uh, if you have any questions, we're here to help you if you get stuck. Or, or you can visit us at lakebdd.org. Find out all kinds of information there. So. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys Looking for hearing us. From you. Yeah, we hope to see you all real soon. Have yeah. a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye.